So we'll go to the last uh, presentation by Dr. Krishna Priya Kaimal. She is talking on microalbuminuria and low HB as uh, risk factors for occurrence of severity of diabetes. Good evening, everyone. I am going to present my paper on the topic microalbuminuria and low hemoglobin as a risk factors for the occurrence and the severity of diabetic retinopathy. As you all know, diabetic retinopathy is a common ocular complication of diabetes mellitus and it is considered to be one of the leading causes for the visual loss and visual impairment globally. And it is documented that more than 77% of patients who survive for over 20 years with diabetes mellitus are affected by retinopathy. Aim of the study is to establish the correlation of microalbinuria and low hemoglobin in type 2 diabetes with the occurrence and increasing severity of diabetic retinopathy. And it is a prospective cross-sectional study. All the patients with type 2 diabetes and patients with informed consent are included in this study. And whereas pregnancy, accelerated hypertension, active systemic infection, coexisting ocular disorders like uveitis, opaque or, opaque or hazy media, and the retinal disorders like like retinal artery or vein occlusions and, and retinitis pigmentosa, vitroretinal degenerations and dystrophies, high myopia and recent ocular surgeries including vitroretinal surgery for the causes other than diabetic retinopathy are excluded from the study. A detailed history including previous photocoagulation and the current medication was obtained. All the subjects underwent a detailed physical and ophthalmological evaluation and BCV was assessed using an using an illuminated surveillance chart and the optitis macula and the retinal background were evaluated using IDO and slit lamp biomicroscopy. And the patients were divided into two groups that is group 0 without diabetic retinopathy and group 1 with diabetic retinopathy of any severity. And the grading of the severity of diabetic retinopathy was done was done using modified early treatment diabetic retinopathy study protocol. And for the purpose of analysis like patients in group 1 was further subdivided into mild to moderate NPDR, severe NPDR and, and proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And there were 67 participants in our study and out of the 67, th there were 41 males and 26 females and the age of the patients ranging from 35 to 80 years with mean age of the patients in the study was 56.4 years. A and as you can see, diabetic retinopathy was found in 29 patients and out of these 29, like 17 had mild to moderate, 6 had severe NPDR and 6 had proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And this is a table showing microalbinuria compared with the severity of diabetic retinopathy. As you can see in this table, like lower range of microalbinuria was more common in mild NPDR and higher range of microalbinuria was more common in proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And this is a table showing an anemia in comparison with severity of diabetic retinopathy. Hemoglobin 12 or above Hemoglobin 12 or above was more common in mild NPDR and hemoglobin 8 or below was more common in severe NPDR. So in our study there was a significant association between microalbinuria with the occurrence and severity of diabetic retinopathy. In type 2 diabetes microalbinuria may not be only a marker of renal disease but also have a close association with generalized cardiovascular disease increasing the risk of myocardial infarction or stroke. So this study also established correlation between diabetic retinopathy and low hemoglobin and low hemoglobin was an independent baseline risk factors for the for the development of proliferative diabetic retinopathy and severe visual loss. So the presence of microalbuminuria should warn the treating physician of the need to monitor the retina along with the kidney function. So this in turn may reduce the occurrence of irreversible visual loss due to diabetic retinopathy. So low hemoglobin level which is common in patients from developing countries like India like needs to be detected and treated. So thereby reducing the risk for, devel de for developing diabetic retinopathy. Thank you. So, 24 hour urine. What is new in your study that we don't know? Something new? Because that's known that if more severity, more microalbuminuria, more severe, they're apt to uh, What is new? Correlated. Uh, that is when we present our study, you know, what is new? Some, some points we can. You could have done new. How many mm. percentage diabetic patient get the microalbuminuria done? That is the percentage will come. You know, not majority of people do it. Mm. That is the another thing. And yes. the RP center, we have done the study earlier also. And you could have correlated with the nephropathy, neuropathy. Uh, mm. All the presenter uh, has done the, 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 they have got very good confidence presenting. 
that is no, that, that they have done a detailed work yeah. are presenting whatever they are presenting they are presenting in full confidence good taliya and detailed study are taliya no whatever they are presenting yeah 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 this is just you are just, Hello, uh, just a few uh, advices to the young generation uh, they are very good i know very good they are, uh, do original work more and more collateral things why i am doing this study is one, not uh, for you also for you, just uh, you can take seat Hi, thank yeah. you very much uh, it is uh, just a comments uh, uh, just comments generally uh, why we are doing this study that you should ask yourself what uh, what is even if it is a negative uh, outcome like this is not uh, related to this that is a uh, outcome so what uh, so there is no uh, point in doing uh, same non thing already so that is one thing and when you present Just also this, this uh, what i suggested some time back you should go yes. into the study and uh, don't waste time in other uh, factors and you should highlight uh, what is the outcome of your paper and how it is clinically important these things you should highlight so just few advice anyway uh, like sir said all of you are presenting very confident and detailed confidently. study very nice study very nice study very nice. younger generation are presenting whatever they are presenting with good confidence yeah so thank Let you very much